Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Looks like Garuda Prime is now out, so that means we're gonna go over where you can farm her. As always, she'll be in with the new relic, so you can always check your Void Relic Foundry segment, you know? You can check that. You can check the Codex to see the locations as well. We'll be looking at it in the Codex, but ah, gotta love Garuda Prime as always. It is important to note, if you want, you can always pop some relic packs to possibly get some Garuda Prime parts, or sorry, relics from here, right? So if you want to, pop relic packs. Hey, six relic packs, that's 18 relics, decent chance of getting some Garuda Prime relics, so always important to keep that in mind. The method I always like looking at is go to the Codex, look at Relics and Arcanes, search up Garuda Prime, and simply you see, these are the four relics that Garuda Prime will be located in. Axie G7, Lith G5, Meso P7, and Neo N20. Nice, it's a high number. So first we'll take a look at Lith G5, and it looks like, oh nice, this is possibly dropped in a very large amount of locations. I myself always like running random void missions to get it, like the fast void captures, those are always a favorite. Running the Sanctuary Onslaught missions are always pretty good to get those too. The fast capture missions on the Void, Sanctuary Onslaught, Cetus Bounties are also pretty good if you actually have those up. And they can drop from really anything. Hemosite, Relic Pack, Arcwing, New War, everywhere, right? So running lower level missions, you'll luckily pretty easily pick up a ton of these. But again, popping Relic Packs will be good. Maybe actually might be worth running that hemo site. <laughs> yeah, if only, if only. And then yeah, just get all of that sweet loot. Sanctuary Onslaught and Void Capture, still my favorite for loot like this. Next we have Meso P7. That'll probably also have, where's the Void, a decent chunk of Void drops. So again, I would always still say Void is one of the best locations for a lot of the time to get relics because it guarantees a relic drop. And if you can do Void Captures, you can go Speed Farming. Isolation, Vault Bounties Tier 1, and Cetus Bounties as well. Bounties are also great because the drop table does favor relics decently well, but they're not the best. So any of these locations will work, okay? Just running through the game, you will luckily obtain these, but always with Void Capture missions. And then, if possible, Exterminate missions, Rescue missions. Missions that you like and that you find are good. I also like running Sedna, Kelpie sometimes, right? There's a lot of variation you can do, but hey, still gonna go with my favorite. Then you have a Neo N20. Ah, oh, look at this. I should probably mention Lith G5, a Garuda Prime Neuroptics Blueprint as the rare, okay? Meso P7, you have Garuda Prime Chassis Blueprint as the uncommon. Neo N20, you have Garuda Prime Blueprint as the common. Actually, these drops look pretty good so far. Definitely favoring it. This one's about the same, right? You can run anything, but for this one, you can start running Lua Apollo if you want to get a mixture between maybe failing the first one to get a Neo N20 possible drop, and then just run ne Lua Apollo to get the Axie Relic, but I wouldn't recommend that a ton. I do like running Saturn Helene myself, to level up and get these relics, but you're still probably better off still running things, right? Like Sanctuary Onslaught, running possibly some of the Void missions, like Void Mod, anything there if you want to. Once you start getting to the higher relics, like Neo or Axie, it's harder and uh, at the point, like you're not gonna get Axie relics during captures, right? So generally you'll have to run a little bit longer missions, but hey, anything's good. I would still stick to the Void stick to isolation, or sorry, not isolation vaults, stick to sanctuary onslaught, and try to find those fast missions. Look at that, steel path honors. Uh, but luckily, these are good drops because they drop everywhere in the game. I myself will be running the drops later on, twitch.tv slash pupsker, so hopefully I'll get some good stuff. Maybe I'll be giving away some primes, probably will be, because hey, it is the ninth anniversary week. And last but not least, you have Axie G7. I mean, my go-to for Axies is always Lua Apollo, but since an Axie is a Void confirmed drop, you can always just run one of the Void missions, like Survival, Void Mont. Okay, it's up to you. 
but all of these are decent enough farms. If you just stay in high level missions until you get the late game C drop rotations, you should be good. Sedna Hydrant till wave 20, not too bad. You might get an Axie G7, right? Things like that, would recommend. Bounties, still good, right? Overall, you can always check the specific drop rate on the Warframe wiki if you would so choose. There's a lot of di uh, different places you can get it, so hey, if you want the specific drop chances, you can go check those out once they all get uploaded, but for now, I love running the Void and Isolation, or sorry, Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, Sanctuary Onslaught for things like that, and just stick to missions that you enjoy. Hydrin, stuff like that. Great, 10 out of 10, would recommend. If you want to root, run bounties, they're great for it, but yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But hey, that is Garuda Prime, get to farming her. She's gonna be a really good fra Prime frame for a while, so get on it everyone. Thank you for watching, check out any of the random socials, and I will see you next time. Peace.